I'm super excited to share today's video with y'all. It's been an idea of mine for a couple months now, but this last week I was really able to reach a breakthrough. I've come up with a color system that can apply custom color filters that I make to any full screen game played on your Windows machine, no matter what GPU you use. If you don't know me, my name is Art is War or Jesse. I've spent a decade working in television and film on shows like Better Call Saul or movies like El Camino. And while I did work on set sometimes, a lot of the small projects that I did on the side, my favorite thing to do for those was color correction. If you don't know, color correction is a very important part of the filmmaking process. Cameras typically shoot in a very flat color space and they're corrected later to look like the finished movie you see on the screen. The color grade is usually done in a very complex software, one of which is DaVinci Resolve, which a lot of you probably use to edit. All of the looks I made for the filters we'll use today were made in DaVinci Resolve. I can export all of the adjustments that I make to an image, in my case, a video game recording, and export that as a 65 point cube LUT file. A LUT file is very complicated. It's a lookup table. The simple way to put it, it's a cube of color that represents where colors should be moved to. As I make changes to the image in the software and save it, those positions are moved. So I can make all these fine color changes in DaVinci Resolve according to the sample footage that I've created. Once I've saved that as that 65 point cube LUT, I can then apply that in OBS or on footage. What stumped me was how could I find a tool that would allow us to apply this to the monitor. Big shout out to Foves and his brother. I started working in stream optimization thanks to them and their company. They've helped a lot along the way with this, vetting the application. And they always challenged me to find ways to make the ideas that I came up with available to everyone. So that's what I've done. Typically these LUT files are usable by streamers to make their stream look nice, but I really, really wanted to find a tool to use to give it to every gamer that had a PC. And yes, I'm sorry console players, this is a PC only tool. This week I was able to pass out a couple advanced copies of the application and the filters to a couple streamers and have them test it to see what their community thought. They loved it, they even provided some feedback, so when we get to the filters, you'll see that there's some special content creator filters in the pack. The real inspiration for this whole system was Jay God's recolored tweets of Asika Island. The filters provided in this video were mainly made for Asika Island, but they also work great on Almazra. I downloaded the trailer for Rebirth, I applied the filters that I'd made and tweaked it so it looked as close to Jay God's tweets as I could. After building the initial look on the trailer, I took it over to my Almazra recording and made some slight adjustments that made it work really well for both. I've also made two iterations of the filter as well as a content creator custom filter that you'll see when you download them. I'll explain more about the different iterations of the filter later in the video. The app we're gonna download is on GitHub, which is an open source repository, which makes this very useful for the future of this tool. If the community is really interested in applying filters to their game, very coding savvy people in our community can contribute to this app on GitHub and make custom versions for us gamers. I'll show it on the screen here. It's called DWM LUT. What this application does is it runs and it loads the filters that I've made in DaVinci Resolve. It applies it in the monitor chain of Windows like a color calibration filter all over your monitor. This tool works in very similar ways to Vibrance GUI, which I'll mention later in the video. This app functions like a more customizable Vibrance control panel on NVIDIA or like NVIDIA overlays. It's very lightweight and will cost you zero frames. You can find the direct download link below for the application, as well as a link to the GitHub page if you wanna know more about the application, who made it and possibly fork it so we can have a cooler, more gamer version of this app that we can hotkey or maybe make filter banks for. The possibilities really are endless. You'll wanna click the download link and it will download a file called releases.zip. Go ahead and extract this to your desktop and rename it to Filter Factory. At this point, y'all need the actual filters. To get my filters, go to my Twitch chat, which is linked below, and I'll show it here on the screen, and type exclamation point Warzone filters. My stream bot should return a command with a download link for you to download another zip file. Unzip this file and drag that folder inside of the Filter Factory folder we made on your desktop. Go ahead and open that folder we just made on your desktop. Inside, you will find an application called DWM LUT GUI. Go ahead and open this application. 
You may get a warning here that says Windows doesn't recognize this developer. Don't freak out. Like I said, Fove's made sure this app is safe. Go ahead and click the more info hyperlink and click run anyway. This very simple window will appear and let's start by clicking the icon in the taskbar next to the start button and select pin to taskbar so that this app never gets lost in a folder somewhere. In the main section of the window, you'll see a list of monitors connected to your computer. You'll want to select the monitor in the 00, zero position as this is your Windows primary monitor and most likely your gaming monitor. Once you've selected your primary monitor, go to the top of the LUT utility window and go to browse next to SDR. It's very important here that you choose SDR because all of the filters that I made will only work in SDR color space. They are not made to function on an HDR monitor. Once you click browse, a new explorer window will open. Go ahead and browse to your desktop, choose the filters factory folder and choose the Warzone filters folder. Inside, you'll see a couple options. There are two main variations on the filters for Warzone 2. The first one is called Treyarch Inspired, and this one is simply just a color tweak. So the color balance is shifted in terms of color temperature, and the saturation and specific colors are made to pop a bit more. The Treyarch Inspired LUT does not adjust exposure at all. The next variation on filter or LUT that I made has the tagline Shadow Seer, and I made this because I specifically went in with the intent of boosting the hard to see areas in dimly lit windows on Almazra. Hopefully this filter also helps in some of the dark tunnels on Asik Island. You'll see in this filters pack that there's a couple with Iceman Isaac's name. He's one of the streamers that tested these for me and he provided some very useful feedback. Go ahead and try those because they're a very, very specific type of color boost. You'll see his filters also have a traditional Treyarch inspired version as well as a Shadow Seer. It's very easy to change these later on. All you have to do is go to browse and choose a different filter and then click apply in the main window again. So don't feel like you have to pick one and stick with it. I personally really like the Shadow Seer versions as they really do help see in some of the darker spots and they make the game just look very different. Once you pick the filter you wanna try, click open and then the bottom right of the window, click apply. At this point, you should see the colors on your monitor shift quite a bit. This is how you know it's working. The app working so simply like this is exactly why I'm not too worried about the anti-cheat concern. This application applies an entire color calibration filter over your entire display output, and this is actually a great segue into my next point. If you are a single PC streamer or content creator and you wanna use these filters, you're also going to have to apply these filters through OBS's apply LUT filter on your game capture or your display capture. These will not output through display captures on Windows like Discord or OBS. If you're a dual PC streamer that clones their main monitor onto their capture card, once you apply the filter once, it will apply to both your main monitor as well as the clone capture card. If you're a dual PC streamer that uses OBS on their gaming PC to project, you're gonna have to go ahead and apply the filter to your main monitor as well as select your capture card and apply the same filter there. As I mentioned, this app is super convenient and lightweight. If you minimize it, it stores in the tray next to your clock. You can right click the icon there, select apply, select disable, or select disable and exit. If you click apply and close the application, the color filters will stay on. So it's best to minimize it to the tray so you can on off it at will. If you have a GPU and used its software like Nvidia Control Panel, Desktop Color, or AMD's equivalent to adjust your game color, I highly recommend navigating to that tool and restoring it to defaults. Another great Fove's recommendation is, if you do have an NVIDIA GPU and you want even more fine control over the filters I provide in this video, download Vibrant's GUI. It's linked down in the description below. What this does is let you create a per application profile through NVIDIA control panel. So you can make one specific for Call of Duty that works in combination with these filters. But I do recommend setting your NVIDIA control panel settings, if you've changed them, back to the defaults. If you haven't changed them, don't worry about it. These filters were based off of 50 in-game brightness. So in your COD settings, you wanna make sure your brightness is set at 50 to start. This isn't a rule, you can adjust it later to how you like, but it's a great place to start. Also, I should mention that you can use the in-game colorblind and filter settings in the color customization section to stack with my filters as well. If you find these filters too saturated, I highly recommend turning those off if you have them on and seeing if it feels better to you. While building this, I've totally revamped my Discord. There's a link for that 
that below. I've created a whole new section called Filter Factory where I'll keep all of you updated on new filters, iterations of the filters that I've made, and new games that we could move on to the future, as well as the possibility of developers in the community adding to this LUT application tool, this filter application tool in the future. This filter system is not just limited to Warzone. It can be applied to any game you play on your PC. And in fact, some of the most exciting results I've gotten with some of my work has been working with creators in Escape from Tarkov. I'm working with Trey24K, Dill Hero, Lucifer192, my good friend, and we're really workshopping these filters to provide maximum visibility in a game that really suffers from visibility problems. So, as you see on the screen here, here's a little teaser of what we can do. And if you go to my Twitch chat, which will be shown on the screen and linked in the description, or the Discord, which is also linked in the description below, in my Twitch chat, you can type exclamation point EFT filters or go to the EFT filters channel in the filter factory section of my Discord, also linked in the description below. I really put a lot of work into customizing these initial filters and I hope y'all are as excited about them as I am. If you appreciate my work, come by the Twitch chat and let me know. I've shown it on the screen multiple times. I also linked my PayPal in the description if you feel like buying me a coffee for my hard color work. Not necessary, but I figured I'd put it there if you're feeling extra motivated. And please, by all means, join the Discord. I'm gonna work really hard to keep the filter factory section of the Discord up to date so that you all have access to the newest news all the time. Make sure y'all like the video if you found this interesting. Subscribe and click the bell so you know when I upload that specific Escape from Tarkov video. Special shout out to Dill Hero and Trey24K, who both will have videos up on their channels very soon covering these filters in more detail from an insider perspective. So I've linked their channels down below. I really hope y'all found this as nerdy and cool as I did. I'm really excited to share this with y'all. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All the links are in the description. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Peace.